Hello and welcome to Astro Colony. Astro Colony is a new space-based factory building game where we'll establish colonies and space stations by collecting asteroids and harvesting their minerals and building, crafting and building and establishing a factory to craft and build more. Uh, this game is is developed by Terad Games and I want to thank them for giving me a key to play the beta version for you today. Also, if you're watching this uh, the day or at least the week that it comes out, there is a demo available of Astro Colony on Steam as part of Steam Next Fest. So uh, stop by the games page. It should be a link in the description below and uh, download the demo and give it a try yourself. Um, as part of this, uh, this will probably just be a single episode for, for right now. But I do want to come back and continue that single episode. But this week, if you're watching this live, I have a couple of plans that I want to um, that I want to take care of uh, before we get into another full series. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Astro Colony. Uh, first off, we are in the beta, so we can start the beta. I did play for a little while. Uh, in the in the beta sort of tutorial so um, that's why there's a continue here and of course a load button there are mods available I'm assuming that this is a steam oh no these mods are on curse on curseforge so if you are interested in playing a modded game of course uh, click on the browse mods button and check that out uh, we're just gonna go back uh, there are of course a variety of settings as per usual audio uh, video settings i have most of the graphics on fairly high i suppose i could turn that one up another tick here too um usually where i, where I usually play uh interface i'm gonna leave that at default gameplay i don't really know what i don't know um so we'll leave this alone and we'll see how it goes and then movement there are a lot of a lot of a lot of keys here i'm hoping that i can um that i can remember the key ones Let's uh, save the settings here and let's just go ahead and get started and take a look at, at this game. So um, we're gonna leave uh, leave the bot on. It's kind of a little bit of a tutorial bit. I don't know what the booster does. Uh, we'll leave it off. Free construction, oh here it is. Uh, no. Free construction unlocks all possible technologies and allows to construct everything without paying a cost. Warning, this can ruin your first experience. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Uh, so no tooltip for bot, no tooltip for booster. Oxygen consumption I do want to have on because that is actually a fundamental part of the factory build uh, is to have that. And then the space station, we could start out with a, with a basic square, a dumbbell shaped station, a triangle, a wing. I think we're just going to stick with the basic and then uh, uh, we can also do a small basic weather and we could go with the medium sized double wing or the large hex base. Uh, this will be enough to at least get a decent uh, experience of the game in the series as a, as a series uh, once we do return to this game for a series. So let's play the beta. And that's the bot. It will help. Welcome, colonizer. I am a bot, and I have been programmed to guide you in your learning. Follow my advice and start creating your own astro colony. Use AVSC to move, space to jump. With multiple jumps, you can reach higher places. So there's double jump or multi jump. Toggle jetpacks, press X, and then it'll keep you in midair once you jump. And you can use space and alt to adjust your height. To expand your space station, you will need to collect some basic resources. Look around the, as the station to find floating asteroids. You need to extract iron and copper. All right, so. Uh, let's just turn turn that on. The, the asteroids, when they crash into the station or into each other, they will explode, and then you won't be able to harvest any resources from them. Uh, let's let's go to this one. This one has iron and copper, conveniently. If you click, you'll switch to your your pick here, and you just peck 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 peck. It takes um, whoa, it takes uh, five strikes to extract iron, four strikes to extract copper, as you can see by the wheel there. And you'll also get some basic science every so often. And the, the more that the asteroids are moving, the uh, harder it is to keep track of them. As you can see, we traveled that far trying to keep keep up with it. I don't know how much we need. Oh, uh, four iron, two copper, and then we need to craft two iron bars and a cra uh, copper bar. Let's go back down here toward the bot. Now it's time to turn materials into something more sophisticated. Open your inventory, enable handcrafting recipes. You will see how new items are automatically crafted. 
All right, so we go here, we go to uh, handcrafted recipes, and then we can choose um, either to enable it infinitely, which is what we're gonna do right now, or you can say, I want you to make two, uh, and then stop. And you can do that as well with handcrafting by just typing in, in the number. I'm not sure what the little arrow box thing is for. Uh, but we're gonna let that, we're gonna let that go. Now let's deal with the basic need of breathing. You may have noticed that your oxygen level drops slightly during the first task. And that's uh, down here in the bottom left corner. Let me remember how to turn off the uh, the UI here. Um, here we are. Or you can turn off the, the mouse lock, rather. Um, down here we have the oxygen meter, and you can see that it's come down just a little bit. When the level reaches zero, your body will get injured and will result in and will result causing death. It is therefore extremely important to refill the oxygen as often as possible. Using ice inside of an oxygen generator is the quickest way to refill it. To build your first oxygen generator, you have to discover your first technology. Make sure that you collect enough basic science points by extracting asteroids. When you have at least two points, go to the tech screen and unlock the first technology. Let's um, let's try. See if we, see if we have enough. Uh, we only have one. Okay, so we need to we need to do some more mining, which is fine. We also know that we're going to need ice, so I'm just going to go over here and pick at this uh, ice-based asteroid here because we're going to need it anyway. And there's our second science. And you're chattering away, but uh, we can't do it yet. So that's unlocked. So we select a device on the hotbar. Uh, we can press F1, 1, or find it in the construction menu, K. So this is a little bit... Um, I don't know. The hotbar thing is a little bit odd. Um, it, it shows the label as F1, but the F1 is actually the the or sort of looks like the label's F1, but F1 is actually the tab. So F1 through F7 are, are seven different tabs of eight different um, items that you can make, and uh, so you you. But you can only make the ones that are actually blue. You can't yet make the ones that are still gray. So you can kind of see that. And so the only, the only one we can make here is this first one, which needs some more iron or copper. I think that's copper. Let's uh, let's go mine some more stuff here. Oh, we can't activate booster yet. Yeah, sorry. Wait, this is copper. Okay, good. And I believe that it will start, it should auto craft the copper in my uh, inventory. Should be doing that now. It is. Okay, good. Yes, we know. Okay, thank you. Excuse me. So I'm going to go and put this down here. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you put it per se. Uh, it's going to, it's going to make a difference later, I suppose. But uh, for now, we're fine. Uh, and then you can, um, now you can use your new device to refill the oxygen you breathe. It requires ice and luckily there are many asteroids floating around. Yep, we already picked up. Oh, it wants me to pick up two more, of course. So we need to look for another blue asteroid. Here's one coming kind of in this general direction. Yes, I know I don't have a booster. I keep pressing shift to boost because every game has shift as your run speed boost or your whatever speed boost. Might as well extract the whole thing. That's what I get for trying to do a shortcut earlier. You can see how far down we got. Or far up we got, rather. Okay, now what do you want? Open device with E. Yes, hurry up. But we still have over half of it left. And then you can use ice to refill oxygen. And that uh, increases the oxygen by about 25%, I guess. Electricity is at the heart of many devices. They work as long as there's enough electricity for them in the network. They cannot produce or consume. If they cannot produce or assume, they signalize problems with the symbol. The lightning bolt symbol. Let's build the carbon reactor. It is the simplest device that uses carbon for electricity production. Okay. I think we have to research it. Yeah, we have to research it with electricity research here. This requires three. We only have two research, so we need to do some more mining. Um, I think I'm just going to mine either copper or iron, though, because then I'll just have to mine... Um, uh, what should we call it? Coal or carbon again later, anyway. There we go. Let's build a carbon reactor. It's the simplest device that uses carbon for electricity production. Okay, so that's here on uh, F1 menu two. And I'm just gonna put it like this next to this one for now. To activate carbon reactor, press modify E and put carbon inside carbon through the deposit items menu. Oh, so of course not. Of course I passed on just going to mine carbon to save myself some time and then I could have. 
All right, let's just get uh, let's get six carbon out of this asteroid. You can see that in the top right. There we go, and we'll start with that much. Yes, I hear you, robot. Okay, here we go. Maybe there we are. Uh, so let's just put in one, and that gets the thing up and running. Now we also need to handcraft some copper wire, and that's here. Uh, we need to actually handcraft it though, so we'll go into the inventory menu and edit our recipes here. We can't handcraft it yet. That means we need to research it. Uh, handcrafting wire is here. We need two. We only have one. Let's go mine some more copper then anyway, because we're probably going to need it. There we go. Unlocked. And got a few extra copper out of the deal. All right, let's go to this. And you're smelting the copper. Good. But now let's also handcraft the copper but let's just do uh, what do we need two yeah let's just do two here oh wait you do have to turn it on but you still set the number and then it should craft those two and then turn it back off again and i want to show that because that's a key thing here if you want to limit how much of something you consume yep and so it disappears after you craft the two you mastered this technology many more waits to be discovered okay so we need to connect up with the power here um like this and uh we have two left so one craft produced three wires as i think you can see right here a four so yeah three wires three copper wires uh iron wire is different um so we from each bar we got three three wires okay now bot what do you have to say for yourself or is that it that might be it But we have power now, which is the important part. So uh, the next part is, of course, like any other factory game, continue mining. For now, continue mining. And continue gathering your science. Make sure you keep an eye on your oxygen. And go and refill it when you are low. Um, we need some more iron, though. We'll get some, get some of this carbon, though, too. Oops. I keep hitting C also for the down instead of alt. Because a lot of a lot of games use C or some games use C. I know we don't have a booster yet. Stop. And be careful letting the asteroids hit you. I think that they will explode if they hit you. They definitely explode when they hit when they hit the uh, platform. And don't don't uh, worry about flying around too much either, because you're not really ever that far from your platform uh, to where you can't get back. Just keep an eye on your oxygen, of course. There we go. Used a few. This one kind of looks like the moon on that side. They look soft kind of craters. Let's look at the uh, technology screen. Uh, water could be the next thing that appears to be the next thing we want to unlock. Let's go ahead and do that. And now with the newly discovered water technology, you can start collecting water. Build an icebreaker to process ice. Okay. That's here on eight. And you can see these, these have different uh, kinds of inputs and outputs too. Uh, so you can see we have, let's see, get down here closer. Uh, a water output. We have a uh, electricity connection and we have a, another input that is a belt input, which I will learn about later. So let's, um, Rotate, and then maybe I'm just gonna put this over here someplace. Store water in water cells, and remember to connect them with pipes. So the water cell here is basically just like a little canister that you can use to store water in, like a like a like a channel for for um for that. And pipes are the s number seven there, but they aren't craftable. It appears. Is that considered a path? Yes. No, maybe that's a different kind of thing. Ah, here it is. Water pipe. I need iron wire. Okay, let's craft some iron wire then. Uh, that's on the eye screen. And let's go with like uh, two of these. Should be good enough for now. If I had any iron bars, let's go find some iron. This one I think is iron. Yeah, this is iron.
Hmm. That's iron and carbon. This one here. Dang it, stop, Wally. This one is... Oh, this is copper and ice. Interesting. There are, there are compound... Um, compound asteroids, too, where they have the they have two resources in them. We found that early with the uh, first asteroid was iron and copper. But um, you can obviously see that there are other resources in the, in the asteroids as well. So depending on what you're looking for, it might behoove you to, uh, you know, to harvest co compound asteroids, although they won't have as much of each individual item in them as a, as a regular full asteroid will. I have no idea what that is. I suspect it's another base of some kind, but I don't know. Come up here and do this. Meanwhile, we are still crafting iron bars. I'm assuming we also crafted those iron wires. We did. All right, so now we should be able to, to do pipes, but it's still grayed out on my screen. Oh, we need to unlock another technology. Water transportation. There we go. Sorry. You're still telling me about, yeah, you're still telling me about pipes and water cells and things. So that goes there and that goes there and then that will connect up uh, this, which needs power also. We probably should make some more uh, wires. Let's do like, how much do we have? We only have one. Let's, But let's do like three, turn that on, let them start going and then we can go and find some uh, copper for, for, for the making. Copper for the crafting. And as with all factory games, you start out here. Ooh, that's a gold one right over there. As long as they don't crash into each other. It has gold and copper. Um, you find that with all factory games that the, uh, the game starts out with this sort of manual step. And then you, you learn and gather more, more and more technologies geared toward, um, geared toward making automation and making things be hands-off. This is an iron and copper asteroid. That'll be useful, too. There's another gold one coming up. We'll use the gold later. I can't remember if I even got to what for, but I can't turn it down. It's gold. And so depending on the resource, as I mentioned, you have different um, uh, different amounts of swings that it takes to, to, to crack it open. Maybe we should probably gather a little bit more ice. This is an ice and iron ball here. That's fine. We'll use it. Do not worry about that. There we go. I think we should have enough of everything now uh, to make some more copper here. Or to make some wire here, rather. And you can do like this and do a drag in place, too. Uh, you, you can only drag in a line, though. As far as I know, you can't drag in a in like a box or a whatever. So that should now have power, or would have power, if we had fed this thing enough coal, so that's or carbon, so let's feed it some more. You can see it's running now because the little thing's off. And then we can E on it and deposit some ice in here. And there it goes. You can kind of see the electricity flowing in the wire there. Fancy. And you can see the water flowing in the pipe and also filling up this little water cell. The water is going into this. Um, it will produce oxygen in a bubble around us. You've mastered this technology. Many more ways to be discovered. Yes. But I don't think I actually want them to do this. Uh, if I can remember how to delete... It just nope, I don't have destruction technology yet, so I may, yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, but you can see we have uh, 20 water stored in this water cell. All right, so let's go back into the technology screen and see what else we might want to do. Uh, asteroid catching is fun. Uh, we should just do the booster though, because um, that way I can actually boost, fly around and boost. And what about destruction? Just so that I have it for later. 
Now it wants me to destroy a ship component. With destruction technology, you can destroy every station component and device. Recyclables will be stored in your inventory until you decide to recycle them. All right, well then let's, uh, let's destroy this. Item is locked. There we go, okay. Use a recycling machine to collect resources back. Remember that the more expensive devices will restore only 80% production cost. And so that's another technology here called recycling. And we need five signs for that and only have two. So let's uh let's keep let's keep mining. We're always gonna need copper and iron, always gonna need coal for power, carbon for power, so we might as well just mine these. We're always gonna need water for oxygen or ice for oxygen. That's fine. There it goes, uh recycling is done. Good. So we can now build a recycling machine, which I think is on F2. Yeah, here it is. And that's going to require some power. And I think I'm just going to... Uh, it also requires gold bars and more copper wire. Let's go in here and we should auto smelt the gold. If we could, which we can't. So I can't actually even build this yet. Hmm. Okay, fine then. Let's go into the technology screen and unlock smelting. Uh, three more, we have two. Okay. Let's see, can I find some iron, maybe? There we are. Even though it's five hits per. And if you don't finish the circle, you will um, you will not get the piece of iron. So if it, if you're chasing one of these asteroids down and it crashes into your base uh, in the process of chasing it down or swinging at it, you will not get the iron that you have not harvested yet. Build the smelter to automate bars production. Can do. Uh, that's probably back on F1. Yeah, I got a little, possibly a little out of order here. Uh, let's see. Smelting. I think I will just put it right here. And then we can do that. And we need to craft any, any bars. So I'm going to craft the gold bars. Times however many I can get, which is just six. Uh, I need to also go... Nope, that's not what I want. I need to also go into my inventory and disable these. Otherwise, any copper or iron that I pick up will automatically get... Actually, you know what? I could do this and... No, no. You can't set a limit. So I'll, I need to I need to have that disabled. And we just need to pick up some more something. Here's some more iron. That'll work. Actually, let's... No, let's not see. There we go. And how about you? I have the booster now so I can press shift to boost myself. I don't get yelled at for pressing it without having the technology. Sneaky. Okay, you don't... They don't break when they hit you. Any, I thought they did maybe when I did my test game a little while ago, but they don't anymore. Let's go back here. And... Go in here. Let's do... Out of power? I'm out of power. I was like, what's going on? Uh, here you go. I have five more. Here we go. All right, we've, we've, we've crafted enough. Okay, now it's back to recycling. Um, we should be able to do that now, but we need to actually take the stuff out of this inventory because the smelter has this inventory here and it will just put the things, leave the things in it. So um, you need to either control click or actually, you can click to move one, control click to move all. Uh, I think, doesn't right click do something? I guess not. And you can also drag and drop. Okay, now let's build that recycler. Since I skipped ahead, what do I need still? Oh, right, the copper wire. Let's go ahead and make some of those. Uh, let's do, I don't know, another three of them, sure. And I'm just going to put it right here, kind of on the end, or maybe, yeah, maybe right here on the end. There we go. And so then you can recycle something by putting it in here, and it'll break it down into its components. Um, but you won't, as I mentioned, you won't get all of it back. We're getting 71% of it back, mm -hmm. I guess. No, that's the power efficiency. Yeah. Uh, so we got we got the wire back here. Oh, shift lets you choose how, how much you want. Shift click. All right, so you're done talking again. Let's let's pick out another technology to 
Um, asteroid caching sounds like a good idea. It's really fun. A really uh, neat thing to do. So asteroid catcher is an efficient way to attract and process asteroids. That's going to be here on one. It's number five. Uh, this needs power and it has two separate outputs. And this, I'm not exactly sure what the two separate outputs do uh, specifically. I was kind of trying to figure that out in my test game and then I decided just to do it and see how it goes. <laughs> uh, this goes here. And then you can, uh, you can E to see the inventory, uh, just like every, all the other machines. Um, you can you can also click on this catch asteroid button here, or you can simply just press F when you're pointed at the machine. And then you just uh, left click to target, and it'll pull the asteroid into the machine, and it'll process it, break it down into its components, materials for you, so you don't have to go mine anymore. Uh, you can just play uh, space invaders with the thing. So you can see how it processed. Um, should have. When I'm out of power again, out of power again. I'm gonna need to catch some carbon asteroids for sure. And I don't have any more carbon. Okay. Well then, we gotta do one more manually. And also, I need some oxygen. I haven't been paying attention to it. See? See? Okay. Uh, power. Yes, power. There we go. Juice it up. So it's it's uh, it's still processing the asteroid, but it does deposit the items here in the um, in its inventory. Now you can go and target and catch another asteroid, uh, like let's say that one. Um, but it will stay here in sort of the magnetic grip of the the gun here, or whatever you want to call this thing here. Um, until we finish processing the one that's in there already. And then it should automatically pull it in. You can see it's in the attracted list here, as opposed to the processed list here. And you can remove that processing asteroid if you, if you, um, if you run out of, um, if you, if you're done with that one, you can let it go. And it'll just, I think it just disappears. But we're going to process it down here in a moment. And then the attracted one automatically moves into the processing. And we can pull these out. Uh, I did it wrong. I did shift instead of control. And then we can feed them into the regular smelter here. Uh, max, max, there we go. And they can just go to town. Now we're going to want to keep keep catching asteroids. Uh, we probably should do an ice one. But again, we can only catch one at a time with one catcher. Uh, so you have to um, kind of keep that in mind as you're doing things. Because it will make a difference. And it is slow, so it might be worthwhile to have a second one. Uh, but then again, we don't need a whole lot of resources this early in the game anyway, so this is probably fine. Let's look at the next technology. Handcrafted plate. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to need that for making something. So let's go ahead and craft handcrafted plate. Now, I don't know if you saw or not, but here there is an iron rod that uses iron plate plus carbon to make iron rods. And so at some point, we're going to be able to make iron plate someplace too. But for right now, we have to handcraft it. So... Let's go ahead and make, I don't know, five of them. One iron bar becomes one iron plate. So we have 12 iron bars, oh, two iron bars, excuse me. Two iron bars, wait. No, one iron bar becomes one iron plate. I don't know why it says 10 of two then. Interesting. So we're making those. And we ran out of power again. Uh, I have I have stuff in here. Now the outputs of this are able to be used for. Um, oh, you can just click that to transfer items to your inventory too. Uh, to output items, but I don't know how you like filter to say, okay, I want. You know, carbon to come out this spot so they can go straight into the, the thing which I should flip around and put in the other direction and then I want everything else to come out of this spot but then again we don't have belts yet anyways so that may not matter much in the end uh, sure that one looks good and then we'll probably do another carbon for the uh, for the queue here because the ice one just finished um, logistics that would be where we get conveyor belts that needs iron plates and copper wire to, to make 
and also the storage container, which is also useful. And then we can probably do, oh, iron bear, actually bear, that'd be really good. Let's go ahead and do this one. Um, and we can at least do some conveyor belts and maybe put the stuff into a storage container to start with. So I think I'm gonna put it here just because I have the other stuff here, but I'm already crowding myself in, as you can tell. Uh, is that on a hot bar someplace? There it is. And it's pretty small, so I think it's fine here. I don't know what the flag is for. I think it's just to say, hey, here's your base. Uh, we also have conveyor belts here. Uh, one, two... I need to rotate. Yeah, there's a rotation thing here. Oh, I need more uh, iron wire. Or copper wire, excuse me. Let's do some more of that. And that's probably supposed to be going that direction. Yes, it is. So we'll... we'll uh, We'll click that and delete it. And then we can build another one uh, here. And the item stayed there, the belt didn't. And I believe that it used the item from my inventory. Yeah, instead of... Um, no? Oh. There. Ramp up. How do you reuse... Can you reuse these? I guess maybe you can, but you have to drag and drop it. No, oh. I don't know if if it can reu be reused now. Hmm. So you scroll up for the next type, so you can do a ramp here, ramp down, and then the conveyor belt's flat. Okay. I don't know if you can. Um, and there's three little green dots there on the menu, or the item top. The pop bar, the item to show you uh, what there, what how many num how many items there are, options there are. I don't see how you would possibly reuse that belt. Maybe you can't. It's kind of a bummer if you can't, but hmm. But either way, um, oops, I backed out too far. Either way, we need to catch some more asteroids. So let's do that. Uh, you. And maybe some more, um, probably some more ice. Alrighty. So, uh, next thing is probably some more technology. Uh, oxygen barrier is a nice one to do. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So well, this gives us the ability to construct an oxygen barrier, which is also here on F3. Um, and you just build it like this, connect it to power. And that's basically it. Uh, it needs more gold, though, so we need to capture some gold. Okay. Let's, um... Press the wrong button. Let's go ahead and right-click to, to release this one. It's just going to crash into the base. And then, can I find some gold someplace? I may have to go off and get it myself. I may have to go get it myself. Because this thing only has a limited range. Also... It's iron... So you can only reach the stuff that's in this like hemisphere that it can that it can target. So I guess we will um, go back to ice. Am I out of power again? Yeah, out of power again. There we go. Oh boy, I need some more uh, carbon, not ice. And we should probably um, top off our oxygen a little bit. Let's go look for some some gold. I don't think that's an asteroid. I think that's a planet. Hmm. There's also gold in some of the ice asteroids, I think. But not any that I'm seeing, of course. But they will... They'll, they always spawn. They always respawn. So uh, you can find it eventually. Hmm. Yeah, they definitely usually have that, like, greenish hue to them. Ooh. 
Oop, there's one. Like, it's yellowish green or whatever you want to call it. There can be some iron as well. I'm set of oxygen again. Just hoping to avoid. Did I get enough? That's the question. So I got enough for two. But I need more power. And I don't think I have anything to make power with now. I do. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Max that out, and then let's go in here. Oops. And see if we can target another carbon. There. There. Okay. Have you made the stuff? You made one of them. What did I need for this? Okay, good. I only needed one. I'm going to put this here just because it's kind of out of the way a little bit. And what this does is it... Well, let's see what he says. Barrier operates only if you store oxygen tanks in oxygen generator. Okay, so we need to store oxygen tanks here. Um, in the meantime, we can also refill our oxygen a couple more times here. Uh, we also need, we'll then need to... To fill, I think, to connect water up to it. Uh, I think that's why I have it the way that I have it. Uh, we need to make oxygen tanks. Which I thought we did here. Hmm. Maybe I... There's another technology to research? That's hydrogen. Is it in my crafting menu somewhere? That could be. Hmm. Oxygen tanks. Not floors, not walls. Devices, maybe? I got this far. But I don't remember how it works now. <laughs> ah, auto asteroid catcher. Yeah, that'd be good. Mining, farming. Gadgets. Nope. All right, I, I'm missing something obvious here. Oh, right here, duh. Uh, this needs water fed into it, so we do need to put that pipe back now. The one we recycled. Recipes, of course. Uh, let's make... I don't want to make all of them, but let's make a few. Five should be good, and we're going to add water again. Or out of power again? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely need to have a way to automate uh, enough of this to make power... Because otherwise, I'm just fishing for asteroids constantly to, to make more power. Um, which is fine, but that one's out of range. You can see the oxygen barrier now. Yeah, that one's good. And then we can grab, not that one, maybe this one. This one pops in. There we go. Grab that one. Then I can get out, and it'll pull it in. Um, so yeah, so we need a way to, definitely to, to redirect all of our um, carbon into the uh into the burner so we can get power out of it we need to generate three oxygen tanks they should be doing that now yeah one's made they're a little slow here comes the uh, carbon off on the belt Yeah, these are a bit slow to make. But they store up, and then... So that establishes the uh, the dome here, or the, the ring here, and that keeps it from... Um, oh, good. Ice and carbon. Let's do that one. And that keeps you from having to refill your oxygen while you're here in the uh, in the base, inside the dome. If you, if, you, if you leave, then you have to have... Uh, you have to refill your oxygen, but inside it keeps you keeps you safe. You almost there? There we go. All right. You mastered this technology, and many more awaits to be discovered. But the many more that await to be discovered will have to happen in another episode. So let me know what you think about this game. 
we will um and then we'll revisit it after this week there's going to be a couple more demos played this week but uh, if if it's if there's interest and uh um if there's interest generated from this, then I will for sure come back to it because um, it's a factory game. Of course I enjoy it. Uh, so thank you again to Terad Games for providing me with the key for the beta to play this for you today. And uh, in the when we come back to this series, or to this to this game, uh, we'll continue this and continue looking at the technologies in the uh, fairly extensive tech tree here. I scrolled fast so we can't read them. And... Uh, um, and continue unlocking things and can you continue progressing through the game so thank you all for joining me and i will see you next time bye for now <laughs>